What was your goal in making this documentary? My goal was to educate people about what's happening to elephants and the elephant poaching crisis and how every 15 minutes an elephant is killed for its ivory. And why did you pick David Sheldrick's Wildlife Trust Fund? You know, really uh, because they are the only people who know how to can rear a baby elephant and reintroduce it into the wild. And because I was in Kenya and I found this orphan baby elephant, I wanted her to live and that was really her only option. She, Daphne Sheldrick is the only woman who actually has success at this. She's reintroduced 190 elephants back into the wild who were not raised by their mothers. So she's the first person to figure this out. I have endless admiration for her and for everyone who works at the Trust. It's an honor for me to get to try to tell their story and you know, they're on the front lines every day fighting the poaching crisis against terrorists and international crime syndicates and all kinds of really horrible people and they're getting shot at and, you know, if I can come to a film festival and show a bunch of people the documentary and, and illuminate a few minds, then I feel like I've done what I can, what I could do. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us and congratulations on the documentary. Um, so our first question is, um, if I was to ask your parents what you were like as a child, what do you think they would say? Oh, jeez. Um, well, that's hard. Um, what do I think they'd say? I'm an only child, so I'm very close to my mum and dad, and we've always very much kind of been a unit. Um, I think they they know I talk to myself a lot when I was a kid, and still do. Um, and I think it's quite I I leaned on my I depended on my imagination quite a bit when I was growing up. So they'd probably say I was. Our second question is, what is the number one snack that you knows to get from you when you're feeling overwhelmed? Tea. Irish tea um, is my saviour every day. Uh, and so yeah, not PG tips. PG tips is fine, but that's like a UK brand. And our tea, our Irish tea is Barry's tea and it's like the richest, most beautiful taste you'll ever get. Well thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, I'm Gracie Wachtel. I'm here with SCAD District, the school newspaper. I'm good. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the award and thank you so much for being here. It really means a lot to SCAD. Thank you. Well, we have a few questions for you. Uh, first of all, how is it having your mother here at the Savannah Film Festival with you? Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting. Uh, it's, uh, it's kind of great, you know, to um, have my mum's film Suffragette, uh, you know, open here. I mean, I think, uh, I'm not sure what the, where it's been open, but it's open in the UK. So I'm just happy for her. I mean, I haven't seen the movie yet, but I should, uh, I should, uh, I should give it a watch. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then a Game of Thrones question for you. Okay, so from behind the big screen, we are cringing at you know many moments, and I was wondering if you cringe as well when you watch yourself on the screen, if you do at all. No, um, I thoroughly enjoy it. <laughs> so, uh, I, to be honest with you, I don't really watch it that much. Um, I watch it once, once the episode airs, um, because yeah, I guess sometimes it can be pretty hard for me to watch some of that stuff back. But at the same time, as an actor, it's so amazing to be able to give, given the opportunity to go to places with that character, because I don't think I'll be able to um, sort of go to such depths with, with that character as much anymore. Okay, great. And then we just have one more question for you. Um, I was just wondering if you have any upcoming projects that you are allowed to tell us about. Um, not ones that I can speak about, but um, but there there was one, and now there may be uh, another interesting one coming up. But we've just got to wait and see. Okay, great. Thank you.